I've noticed that I get excited and motivated about the things I'm learning in this work. But after a while, things seem to become dull or boring again. Is this normal? This is a trick question, right? <laughs> Somebody really knows the answer to this. They're just like asking this for what reason? I don't know. Because they have a duty to ask a question or something? I don't, I don't quite get it. Of course. Is this normal? Is it normal to be mechanical? Is it normal to go to sleep? Is it normal to be an idiot? Is it normal to be a, a moronic machine that goes about life mindlessly picking up the phone because it rang, going to the door because the doorbell went, jumping up and running to dinner because somebody said dinner's ready without a thought of what you're doing, what timing is, what your awareness of it is, where you are, who you are, where you are inside yourself, where you are outside. The difference between where you're standing and where you are standing internally in yourself? Is it normal to go through life like that? Well, yes. Are we machines? Well, yes. Are we unconscious? Well, normally. I would say normally we are. Is this the most unusual, unheard of, difficult thing that people ever meet in their life? This work where you have to stir yourself to consciousness, where you have to struggle against all of your mechanical habits, your mechanical talking, your mechanical negative emotions. Is this the most difficult thing you will ever do in your life? Well, yes. Are you going to want to scratch my eyes out from time to time? Well, yes. Are you going to love me and think, oh my God, I'm so glad this man is in my life? Well, yes. Then five minutes later, you're going to absolutely forget about that and want to kill me? Well, yes. Is this normal? Uh-huh. Is it normal to be this insane? Yes. <laughs> this is what I've been telling you all these years. You are totally insane. Meaning, you have no permanent I. There is nothing in you that can stay from here to here by itself because you said you wanted to. No, because life pulls us and tugs us and pushes us wherever it wants us to go. Is this normal? Absolutely. How do we know that? Look at the world. Is it normal for man to crack another man's skull open for not doing what that man wants? Yes. Is it normal to decimate a population to get something that we think they have that is of value? Is it something that's new, that's just happened in the last 100, 200 years? No. Did the Spanish do it when they came to the New World for gold? Yes. But they didn't decimate. Decimate means one out of ten. It was a Roman thing. They killed one out of ten. They'd take one out of ten people and they'd kill that person. No, this was, this was annihilation. They wiped out, they committed genocide. They wiped out entire races of people, entire cultures. Why? because those people might have something that we wanted, or because those people didn't agree with what we believed. Is that normal? Yeah, it's normal. It's normal to become dull. It's normal to be bored. It's normal to be mechanical. Absolutely, it's normal. Why is it normal? Because we're machines, we're unconscious, we're asleep, we have no permanent eye. Things are bouncing around inside of us. There's one eye here one moment, and another eye here the next moment. And we have no control over these eyes, no control over them whatsoever. What does control them? Well, the events of life, old associations, our programming. All of these things control these eyes. Are these eyes really controlled? No, they're triggered. They're triggered, that's all. Something comes along, flips the trigger, this eye is gone. It's off. It's running. It's doing its thing. It's doing its dance. It's singing its song. You know your songs? Oh my God, surely you've heard your own songs. Surely you pay attention to your own songs, the songs you sing throughout your life. Ain't it awful? Oh, they never give me what I, I never get what I want. I never get appreciated. Oh, it's just horrible. These are our songs. These are the songs that we entertain ourselves with constantly. We sing these songs. We sing ourselves to sleep every night with these songs. We rehearse our day. We look back over our day and sing ourselves to sleep. More to sleep than we already were. Meaning, so sound asleep on the bed that if somebody comes into the room, we don't know they came into the room. Well, you say, but I'm that sound asleep now. 
well, yes, but this is an unusual moment for you to realize that you're that sound asleep now. That you're so sound asleep now, sitting here, looking at me, listening to me, that somebody could walk into this room and you wouldn't know it. Well, that's unheard. That's ridiculous. Uh, if they made a lot of noise, I'd hear it. There you go. Right. They made a lot of noise, I'd know it. Maybe you would. Actually, the truth is if they made less noise, you might know it. If they made a lot of noise, it would be easier for you to sleep through it. But if they whispered a little bit, then you might wake up. So yes, it's normal. It's absolutely normal. We get excited with new things because little eyes are like little tiny sake cups. They're easily and quickly filled up. Once they're filled up, they're bored. Big eyes are not so easily filled up. They can absorb more. They can contain more. They can hold more. So they have more staying power. So when things seem to become dull or boring, yes, it's normal. It's normal because we're machines. We're asleep. And when it stops being normal, then you'll know that this work is actually beginning to make a place in you. That's what it does. It makes a place in you where it can reside and it can then start to oppose the machine. How does it oppose the machine? It opposes the machine, first of all, by saying, no, I have the right not to be negative. No, I don't have to do that. No, I don't have to jump up just because someone said, it's time for dinner's ready. No, I don't have to run to the phone break my toe tripping over the vacuum cleaner or whatever, or the, or the coffee table to get to the phone because it rang. It'll ring again. They'll call back. <laughs> what if I miss it and it's important? Well, if it's important, they'll call back. But, 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 all of this is mechanical. All of this is unconscious. All of this is the work of little eyes, little sake cup eyes, little thimble eyes that can't hold much or soon filled, quickly filled, and then they're lost. They're gone. Some other eye has to come up now and be filled. And it's a small eye, so it takes that long to fill it. So yes, being bored is normal because of our condition, our state. Our state is the problem, not the work. Our condition is the problem. You're not the problem. Your condition is the problem. But you identify with the condition. You think you are the condition. No, you're not the condition. It's just your condition. Okay, that should answer that.